Welcome to Pretty Girl Chronicles. I'm Coley Rodriguez, and we are here at Coles Event Center, 2928 West Kentucky Street. How we do it every Thursday night. We're so blessed again tonight to have Philly Blocks in the building. What's good? It's a pleasure. How are you? How was your day? Uh, my day is busy, as always, but it's normal. Busy? That's a good day, though. A productive, busy day. That's what we all look forward to, so we can get to those resting days, you know, when you can take time off. So, so who you got with you? I see you got your partner with you. Who you with in the building? Uh, this is my role manager, Michael Wildcard Turner. Michael Wildcard Turner. Yeah, very low key dude, but yeah, he plays an important piece to the uh, to the puzzle that I'm building. Okay, very important piece. How you doing down there, Wildcard? I'm doing pretty good. Back okay. Okay. Doing Happy pretty good. Happy to be here. So, pleasure. Okay, thank you. It's an honor to have you guys here. So if you're watching this video, like the Pretty Girl Chronicles page, share this video. Don't just share it for me. Share it for Philly. Share it for Wellcourt. Okay. So we're going to get right into it. For the people who don't know Philly Blocks, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? Well, I've been doing music for like 10 years now, since I go now. Uh, I started out with a mixtape with uh, DJ Through the Roof, Ron Steve the Crown. Uh, went there from uh, with DJ EB, DJ Tay with uh, Live in the West End, uh, dropped the Ali mixtape. Then I set back for a minute purposely to learn the business and actually build a team because I really want to build a label and get into radio, only my own radio station, things of that nature. So I learned the business from my perspective. And okay. I wanted to jump back in. And when did you jump back in it, you said? About like 2015, as far as 2015, start like little singles or whatever, but not really marketing. Okay, I'm really now going to full gas as far as marketing and advertisement, uh, promo, getting it out to the right people as far as on my avenues. Okay, yeah, I see you working now. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, so if PGC could wave a magic wand, what would be like an artist that you would want to work with right now, either dead or alive? Yeah, you can say you can say as many people as you want. Uh, off top, Soldier Snail. Yeah. Um, e Forty, Scarface, ESTG from the. Okay. Uh, I'm Scarface is messing around with that political arena right now. You messing him? Yeah, he's, he's messing around in, the, in some politics. But okay, that's on another, that's on another thing. Okay, go ahead. Um, Rocco, Jay-Z, of course. I think that just to, like, even if he didn't want to lay a track with you, just to be able to hang around Jay-Z and soak up that knowledge and just see how his day runs, like, what's, you know, because I would be interested, in, you know, interested to see that. What's, the, what's in the life of Jay-Z on a daily basis? You know, how does he start his day, you know? Man, man, man. You feel me? Like, what is he making sure is happening every day for him to be successful? You know, like, those tips. I Give like us those that. tips, Jay-Z. Come on. Can I like, we get a, a, I like that entrepreneurial side, yeah. like, because it shows you how it ends and, like, from the whole perspective as a boss and what you need to do to be successful, especially being the first hip hop billionaire. Like, that's definitely a big step. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So just to be able to get those uh, a quick tip guide of 10 tips that you need to do daily. You know what I'm saying? That has helped me get to where I'm at now. These are what I do. You know what I would love that. I actually watch success, uh, success videos like that, like the top 10 successful quotes from Nipsey, the top mm -hmm. 10 successful quotes from Master P. Like, you know, to take in the knowledge that they have because whatever they use for yeah, yeah, it's definitely working. It's definitely working for them guys. But I did read something, I, I don't remember but where exactly where I got it from, but like millionaires have at least seven different sources of income. So people just assume, oh, they're a millionaire and they got one source of income. No, they have at least seven sources of income generating them money, profits you know income so just think about it like that like you're, you're not necessarily going to get the millions from that one thing so try to think about multiple ways that, that you can make money because they invest in that's the thing the key mm -hmm. word is investing like 
with this music is an investment. Right, right like Meek Mill, now he's co-owner of Lids. Did y'all see that? Yeah, yeah, that's out there everywhere. Now he's co-owner of Lids. He, he's taking some of that Jay-Z knowledge. I'm telling you, Jay-Z is like funneling that, hey, you need to start getting, you know, doing this and doing that. Give us those tips, man. Okay. Jay, P, Jay Prince, they the reason why I want to be uh, independent to a certain stage. Yeah. Um, they the reason that they got the blueprint for that. Same with E-40, that's why I recorded them. Because I really always, like my whole career, uh, just as a fan of music before I even started out here, I was always into the people that was entrepreneurial, like they had their own brain, like they you know, might own a piece of them, like they had a damn good time. So. Exactly, pretty good kind of Psh, Only person I have ever, you know, kind of check with is Mr. Cole. <laughs> what a Mr. Cole. Shout out to Mr. Cole, he always makes sure I'm good every Thursday. Um, okay, so, real quick, we already done that. So, currently working on right now, where people can, you know, your song that you want to talk about, Day, Days of Ours? Days of Our Lives. Days of Our Lives, okay. Yeah, produced by Saints Fresco. Uh, I don't know, it's just something that I wrote one day, and uh, I was in a dark space, and uh, just, just reflecting on things that I see daily, and also things that I may have experienced from whatever point of view it might have been, and just tied it in, and it was just, it just comes out naturally. Like, I kind of, I like to reflect on things that's really going on. I don't really think to that whole uh, goofy, like, 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 I mean, it's just honest. Like, hey, I mean, that's what we're here, that's what we do on PGC. We keep it 100, so, right. So, right, and I, it's got to mean something to you. It's, it, it has to have a purpose. You ain't just rapping to say shit. You ain't just talking to be talking, so. I call my songs audio documentaries. Audio documentaries, that's what's up. So, yeah, it's like I try to give you, like, and it's like how I think psychologically, how it made me feel emotional. Like, I want you to feel what I'm saying when I'm speaking like, into the mic. Like, I feel like it's therapeutic for me, it's my therapy. So it's not in the sense of, like, I don't make club music. I, don't do that. I know what type of artist I am, I'll stay on my mind. So it's CEO like, rap. Yeah. Right. Man. Well, I always yeah. say if, if you stay authentically to yourself, they're going to feel it. Yeah. Who is gonna, you know, who is supposed to feel you is gonna feel you. So you don't have to worry about who does it. Yeah. You know, there's no need to worry about that. It's when you try to go outside of your lane, I'll be something that you're not. Yeah. You know, it's when it's not gonna work out for you. So as long as you're true to who you are, rapping about what you feel and what's important to you, a motherfucker gonna feel that. Yeah, I so, feel like I touch on selfish to people. Like, I don't mean when you're in the middle. Why? Sort of like in a little Kevin Gates sense, right? Just in my own way, like, I, I don't know, I've just influenced by so many different styles from different eras, and like, I just try to be authentic to me and try to blend it all together. But I think that that's good to have and like a variety and styles of music because too many times we limit ourselves like, oh, I don't like country or I don't like this or that. Yeah. There's a, a lot of good songs out there to, you know, I mean, you just have, not all country songs is gonna be for you, but I'm telling you, if you play a couple of them, you're gonna find one or two that you can fuck with. You know, I'm just, I'm not that genre in particular, but I'm just saying, you know, using that as an example, like don't limit yourself to one style of music, like explore other types and styles. It's I gonna mean, add to your sound. Exactly, yeah. it's gonna add, exactly. I yeah. ain't my friend, I'm a big Nirvana fan. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Like, I like them, my pops used to put me on a hoodie and a blowfish back in the day. Like, I'm not like when being around my mother, like listening to R&B and, and all that, like, Get, you get different influences when really listen to blues a lot, so jazz, so it's like you can get all those different influences around you. Yeah, yeah, anything can happen and your, and your style can be very eclectic and can go a lot of ways. And that, I mean, that's always a plus because as an artist, you're always developing and you're moving to the next phase, I want to say, of your artistry. So, okay, so what's your pet peeve? Like some shit you just don't jig with? It could be business, it could be personal, it doesn't matter. I can matter. tell you it's his manager. If things don't go as planned, he I'll looks. I'll flip the fuck I gotta calm him down. I remember what, like if somebody says this is what's gonna happen and then when you get there it doesn't, that doesn't happen? Or what do you mean? I'll give you a prime example. Okay, we do had, that. We had a, a music video shoot not too long ago. Uh, Peasy came to town. Our cameraman didn't show. Mm -hmm. I'm not the one to dress in this, I'm gonna let him speak. <laughs> he lost, and I can understand, a 
I'm not gonna speak any names particularly, but dude was chasing Jack Harper. Phillies did Philly did lost it, but I'm like, dude, look, Philly. And he was supposed to be there for Philly and not for the And and I support Jack Harlow. I I told him to go do his thing, all that just when I need him because when it's business and positive work, you gotta follow up on it. Absolutely. Uh, Shout out to Jack Harlow. Harlow. Right. Nothing wrong, you know. No animosity yeah, no. or nothing, yeah. but dude, the cameraman person is the one that messed everything up. But Philly, he lost it. And I'm like, look, bro, I understand it didn't go as planned, but at the end of the day, we still got to find the cameraman. So, yeah, pet peeve is he, if it don't go as planned, I'm just organized, like I'm punctual because I believe in professionalism. Mm-hmm. Virgo energy. Yeah, so that's why. Like, so if some shit don't, so if some shit don't go as planned, or some like if, well, another, I mean, I would really say if shit don't go as planned, but if you're supposed to be there and I'm yeah. paying you to be there, or either or whatever situation, you should have been there. So, that's, yeah, that's okay. All right, so the ladies could want to know because you know PGC, we get a little bit personal on this show. So the ladies want to know what's Philly Block's ideal date. On any budget, so it's not like your budget. If you could do any ideal date, would be the best date for you. What is that? Uh, this is for my girl. What I would do, we'll go to San Diego, get a uh, beach hotel resort, go to the beach. Nice. What else you want to eat? Take care of it. Find whatever it is. Smoke. So, That's just part of it. Food and yeah. smoke. That's just, uh, yeah. just chill. I don't okay. know if it's Netflix or we hitting some new track with uh, at home. Like, I'm very simple, but like, as far as like, the dream, it's yeah. Okay. Like, dream, yeah. All right. Um, okay. No, I like that. I love the beach. I love good food. You know, all that. Everything you said just sounds like a. Most women would agree that's a perfect day unless, you know, they don't want to deal with sand because sometimes, you know, sand's a bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, sand gets in places sometimes. When you be going on the beach and shit, you get back into your hotel or to your condo or your little house or wherever you're staying at, going to the beach. And when you go back, you be like, how the fuck is sand right there? Like, trying to you bring it back to vacation and all that. Like, I know, you be like, what the fuck? Sand back from the I know, I swear. Have y'all, have y'all been to the beaches up in Chicago? Mm-hmm. I've been to hey. Chicago a couple of times too, but I've never been to that beach. Hey, uh, I think it's North Beach. Like, that's the dopest view ever. Like, downtown, right off the lecture, off east, over east. Like, yeah. Okay. So nice view. Yeah, I'm at, we'll have to check that out, baby. Yeah. I've never been there. I mean, I've been to Chicago a few times because my daughter has stepped there in a couple of different, like, Bucker dives and in different competitions. It really is. So, do you have a celebrity crush? If there is somebody out there you know that PGC could hook you up on a date with, who, who would that be? Okay, well, she might be down for that. So, if, let's just say if she was down for that, who, but I like how you said that. If, um, cause as women, we're like, hell yeah. You heard what he said, bitch, I had to, bitch, I had to go with me and my motherfucking yeah. So, uh, we respect all that booze and I, you know. So, um, who would that be then? If she was down for that, she would go with you and your girl and, or whatever, who would be the celebrity crush? This is like post girl, you know, this is before girlfriend, you know. We don't want to break up, no. Tiana Taylor, that's a good crush. Body, like goals. Body, hashtag goals. Like, body goals. That's all I'm gonna say. Ladies know what I'm talking about. Okay, so who's in your playlist? Like, if we was to plug that in right now and beat it, beat it to death, who, who would be playing? Shh, that could be anything. I pull up listening to anything. Uh, filthy Rich. Uh, definitely uh, uh, V's from Detroit. I like listening to like people's up and coming. Like I'm really gonna be on the whole mainstream scene. But like I like S O B R B E from uh, Oakland. Uh, I'm gonna mess with Atlanta a little time. Right now. I would say from Oakland, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm probably messing with Joe Green real tough. Uh, 
Uh, he's standing by bigger right here. I like that right here. Which could just drop this past weekend. Uh, the six fifty mm, Okay. Uh, I don't know. I just like different scenes. Like everybody got their own little scene. It's really popping. Like uh, Chicago. Like I'm a G Herbo fan all day. Vivi. Uh, like I like lyrical artists. So Me too. Like, I love Biggie. I could one more chance is like my favorite song. So. Uh, Speaking about social slim, I was playing social slim the other day. I got UGK, Ice Cube, and I got like actual CDs. Like CDs. I remember. You remember back in the day when you said that huge, like CD four pack, like fucking case that you opened up and it was like four on each fucking. I remember one time I like, broke up my car and stole my whole damn CD thing that I, you know, I had collected. Man, you talk about crying. Like I cried. Like I lost something real valuable. It takes a long time to collect all those CDs back in the day. Shit, I was pissed. That's yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the big ass little full one. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to because I back in the day I used to think I was shoving in my car. So anyway, okay, so. Oh no limit, correction. All that, all no limit, all no limit. <laughs> so you're not single. Usually I say, are you single? But since because we know you're not now, so ladies is not single. It's off the market. So, uh, any advice? that you have for any artists out there trying to start, anything you've overcome, anything you can share with us, maybe something that happened, and, or just anything you want to share? Uh, I don't know, I can speak on many situations. All I can say is never burn a bridge because when you're going up, whoever you want, whenever you go down, you're going to meet them same people. So I always try to put good karma out when I do business. Yeah. Your, your brain is everything, so do everything in your power to, to build your brain. You guys, you always have a crowd before you walk, so take what you can, make small investments, make them small investments to bigger investments, just keep building. Yeah, that's a good advice right there. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta suck it up and, you know, keep it pushing, don't let that stuff worry you, and just, you know, save face, for lack of a better even term, though, you know? Even though I might flip out, it'd be like, all right, I call myself, I'm like, all right, look at this problem, like, because at the end of the day, the show can continue, like, like, you can't stop because I'm powerful, like, you know what I'm saying, it feels a certain way, like, you know, throw that emotion shit out the window and just keep it rolling. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, real quick, you are watching Pretty Girl Chronicles PGC, and we are at Cole's Event Center, 2928 West Kentucky Street. And while we like to throw out a little warning, a disclaimer, we have passed the kid portion of the show. So if there happens to be, because it's summertime, you know, it could be a kid by you awake or whatever. So if that happens to be right now, you should probably tell them to, you know, go somewhere else because we're gonna use some words that are not exactly kid friendly, not just regular cuss words, but you know, full blown, you know, whatever. So, because we're about to play Fishbowl Drunk Facts. And what that is, is our version of Truth or Dare. So, Philly Blocks is going to pull out a, a question. And if he doesn't want to answer that question, then he's going to have to take a shot. That's how Fishbowl Drunk Facts works. Because we're going to find out a little facts and he's going to get a little drunk in the process. Okay, so now you got it. Now you're with me. So, you ready, Philly? You want to mix them up real quick? You want to, or you just want to, because he's got, don't read it. Just hand it to me. Don't cheat. Because sometimes they be trying to cheat. Can't let them cheat. If you're watching this video, share the video, like the Pretty Girl Chronicles page. Uh oh, he got kind of a, he got kind of a, it, it's, it's more or less hard. I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna throw wild card in this or not. We, we down. I got I'm two, down. I actually grabbed two shot glasses just in case well, he was down. It looks like I'm in. So, it looks like he's in it too. Like I did it, I grabbed two just in case. So, Demonstrate your sexual dirty talk. So, <laughs> like while you're in it, just full blown going ham. What does that sound like? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? Yeah, let's drink to that. Okay, so <laughs> you're okay. So, wild card. Are you ready to demonstrate your sexual dirty talk? I think that I gotta save just a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit more mystery, less history. So I'm gonna drink too. Okay. <laughs> Look. Already. Already. Yeah. I ain't even started. Shot. Shot. That's my shot. That's my shot uh, regulator. Okay. Already off the off the cuff. Off the cuff. Two of them. Two down. Okay, get another one out and hand it to me when you're ready. Because I know after you take that, 
inside you. Thank you for everyone tuning in to the video that liked the video and shares the video. Appreciate you. You the bombs out kind. This is, see, it's lucky. They, they got one that's kind of not really a question. They can just, they got lucky on the second one. Boobs or butt? What you like, boobs or butt? Everything. Everything, that's right. Ass. Ass, 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 ass. Okay, that's all right. He said everything. He gotta have a little on top, a little on the bottom. And, and then he just, he just likes ass. He don't care about nothing. Okay, all right. Get another one, I'll give it to me. See, I told you, y'all got a little breather right there. Y'all got a, you, a wild card, you wanna draw one out? and give it to me, so that way it's kind of fair, so. Let us see your last 10 photos. Let us see your I last 10 no photos. I have no idea what is in there. Just go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, sorry. Okay, so we can't see his last 10 photos. Let's see if we can see Philly Blocks. If we can see Philly Blocks. Did you go to some special album? Are we in all photos? Cause you didn't scroll, okay. Okay, is that the, what is that? Is that the latest date? Okay, all right, I believe him now cause I see Pretty Girl Chronicles in the background. Okay, all right, I checked them out. He, he don't have nothing I wanna tell you all about, sorry. It'd be a little bit juicy stuff. It was, I mean, it was good stuff in there for him, you know, it's promotional stuff and artistry stuff or whatever, but nothing I want to share with you guys. Okay, get another one out. Um, Cause uh, Wild Card took a shot. He did not know it was in the photos. He was not fucking around. The photos could have been top secret. Anything. I have to kill you. Yeah, you want to pull another one? I don't know. It's your turn, Phil. Okay, go ahead. Y'all like turning them up. Okay, they try to cheat y'all. See what I'm saying? Both of be trying to cheat y'all. Come on, <laughs> keep flipping them over, trying to read them. Don't be trying to read them, Philly, Philly, <laughs> Philly, <laughs> Philly, <laughs> Philly Blacks. Okay. <laughs> well, you flipped them too much because you got a really bad one. Because <laughs> they're not all bad. Some of them are kind of sweet, you know, like first. It's, it's hour, then what's sweet? Okay. Do you look ass? No. No, that wasn't that hard. He said, hell to the now. Michael? Now, now he don't want to play the game no more. See how that works? He was in the game before, but now that question, he doesn't want to play. I just, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. But... <laughs> Select, <laughs> selective, selectively <laughs> done. Selectively. I mean, no, I just had to. It's hilarious. It's, it's the best game. I want to know every question in the whole thing. I'm just not trying to get that button, but. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I told you that we're only gonna do a couple of more. We only do okay, a couple. Well, I'm doing so. the next one. Here. Okay, uh, so pull, uh, pull another one out. <laughs> hey, you gotta keep it hundred on Pretty Girl Chronicles. Like this video, share the Pretty Girl Chronicles page, and we're at Cole's Event Center, 2928 West Kentucky Street. Jumping. Let us see your last ten Google searches. Your last 10 Google searches. Y'all are just pulling out all the winners. Like, I saw everything I love. Let us see your last 10 Google searches. I promise you. because God's willing. He's taking a shot. So, don't be deleting that. And hold on, babe. You need to check if these niggas is deleted. Because they like, hold on, delete history. He's doing Spanish to English. No, it ain't nothing that bad. I'm not lying, he did BBWs all day, all night, and some other. <laughs> the really? next one. No, he's like, he's like, damn, I did do that. Is that still on there? No, There's someone dead. fuck with, but I'm like, damn. No, no, I'm just playing, it's not on there. <laughs> Let me see, Let me see, Philly Block. Big girls need love too. Hey, BBWs are the bomb, don't even trip. Okay. Baby, he done edited his shit, he said, he, he was saying. He did, he had, had, he had time, he had time. Right now, I'm gonna give him all type of ass, ass, ass. Okay, he don't have nothing, he's trying to get a mortgage. He ain't, he ain't talking about, no, I'm just playing. That is why you really do need to check your credit report. Um, go ahead and apply for one of those little sites that be updating you, letting you know when your score is changing. Seriously. Okay. I'm on some boss shit. Swear. Okay, get, a, get another one out, because um, 
Y'all didn't have nothing interesting on there, y'all were searching. I think Philly Blocks deleted his while I was looking at wild cards, but it's all good. That's my story and I'm sticking to it, I don't care. I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> if you could have sex with anyone, who would it be? Y'all just pulling out all the winners. Like, y'all just getting all of the winners. If you can have sex with anyone, who would it be? So you either got to answer it or take a shot. I believe the fifth. Shot. <laughs> it's it's a fight. <laughs> Blocks. Look, look at Mr. Blocks. I done changed his name. Mr. Blocks, are you ready to answer the question? If you could anyone, who would that be? If you could. <laughs> Try to think of something. <laughs> These questions are. Oh, girl, played Big Booty Judy and ATL. Big Booty Judy and ATL. We just watched ATL earlier. Speaking of ATL. Okay, he answered it. No shot. Get another one out. Kind of see him. Uh, and that's, and that's kind of okay, uh, now get now dig one out. So see you keep mixing. <laughs> yeah, hey, look. Okay. Okay. See, see, I said first we're sweet, sour and then we're sweet. So like the candy. So what is a hidden talent of yours? That's something that you guys can answer and not have to take a shot. Hidden talent. I ain't gonna lie. I think my other hidden talent is being a chef in the kitchen. Nice. That's I a nice know. talent. It's a I very, know. very useful, nice talent. That's the kind of thing I got right now. If I wasn't doing this or uh, anything else like that, that I know that I can do, I can do it. So. Okay. Wild card? I can draw anything. Nice. Exactly. Nice. I bathe the draw too. That's one of his hidden talents. Yes. Okay. You can do it more often. Like get get your art your your drawing going, your artwork going. Alright, get another one out and then we're gonna get to this performance from Philly Blocks. Do you think you're good in bed? Hell yeah. Why? I don't get no complaints. You never got a complaint book? That could be real. I mean, yeah, I mean shit. Yeah, yeah, ups and downs, but I mean, overall, nah, no complaints. Yeah, it's definitely an energy thing. You just know. Yeah. You, know <laughs> you just you know. You like, nobody never, you know, you, I leave them just passed out in the bed, so. That's how they act afterwards, man. That's how they act. They be calling and shit, blowing up your phone. Yeah. Okay, all right. If you're watching this video, like the Pretty Girl Chronicles page, share the Pretty Girl Chronicles page, nominate Pretty Girl Chronicles for webcast of the year at www.theallegiance.com. And that's L, it's E-L-I-T-E, -E, and then gents, she, Cause people, you know what I'm saying? We, when DJ Slick and AP was on here, we was talking about that. Sometimes, you know, it'd be hard to like find it, but you know, you just gotta spell it with the T in there, huh? Shout out to the Allegiance too, shout out to Slick. Shout out to the Allegiance, definitely. Um, everybody, I'm running for Lyricist of the Year, Brand of the Year, um, Tip Hop Family Team 563 for the year. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, video of the Year for Days of My Lives. Video of the Year? You know yeah, I'm telling you, like, to be recognized by your peers and get nominated, win or win or lose the nomination just means the world because you're really being recognized by your peers in the industry, so. The one that I care about is the lyricists of the year. Like, I grew up watching the Source Awards, and like, that was the main award that I cared about was the lyricists of the year, you know what I'm saying? Like, the lyricists of the year, the grind of the year, the yeah, shows we've been putting in the work, so. Right. Being mentioned among those that be putting in work and stuff. Yeah, that's that's a, you know it's a blessing in itself or whatever. You just have to stay humble and just you know I feel like what's for you is gonna always come for you. So it doesn't matter about when it comes because it's gonna come. You know, so just stay on your journey, stay consistent, grind hard, and it's gonna it's gonna come to you. I lied. We're gonna do one more and then we're gonna go to the performance. Cool. Just one more because it's so much fun. Which both drunk facts is so much fun. He's cheating. He keeps. Got a good one. Uh, who is the worst person you've ever had sex with? 
Like these questions, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, you know. So you can answer that or take another shot. He already grabbed his shot. <laughs> yeah, I just ain't trying to do nobody like that. Here you go. I know. See, some of them you have to put in there so, you know, you're guaranteed that somebody will take a shot. Because nobody's going to answer that. We don't even want them to. You know, that's why we do it. So somebody has to. So basically because you know and then that's why we put a couple of nice ones in there like um, who's your hit what's your hidden talent you know stuff like that you know it's it's a it's a smorgasbord of bullshit is really what it is it's like you're liable to get anything out this motherfucker it just depends on how lucky you are or not i mean that's all that's all it is so Real quick, any advice or anything left that you, as a manager, because we didn't really talk about that, that you would like to give artists or anything you've seen, and then we'll go uh, to the performance. Because we didn't really get to talk you know, to you that much. So anything that you see, maybe a, on a manager perspective? Rome wasn't built in a day. This shit takes patience. You gotta stay consistent. Uh, you have to be adaptable. Most people want to, they get in a vibe and they want to, uh, they want to ride, it's riding away for real when you don't want to change. All this shit is about change. You got to be able to do that. So, yeah, be able to adapt. That's being an adept. And that's being an adult for real. That's all the same shit. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you got to be able to kind of go with the flow too and, you know, mm -hmm. always progress and move forward in your career and don't stay stagnant. You know, always try to move forward. Okay, so um, where can they find you guys? They want to book you or work with you or maybe use you as a manager. How can they get in touch with you guys? Philly Blocks Music at gmail.com. Uh, Philly Blocks Everything, IG, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. I'm on everything. So um, I do have music on streaming platforms. And I'm, I have a whole thing I can go into about the whole streaming thing, but I do have some music on streaming if you want to check it out. Days of Our Lives on YouTube right now. Go run the numbers up. Days of Days Our Lives on YouTube. Okay. Very, it's and that's the track he's about to perform in just a second. Critically acclaimed. The write-ups is tremendous. Uh, I don't want to say too much, but all I know it's is... legendary. Yeah. Legendary. Double XL. Legendary. Of it. I'm just waiting to see what they say. So. Okay, and where can they find you? Uh, Wildcard. Wildcard. Michael Turner Jr. on Facebook. MB underscore MBTJR underscore on Instagram. Yeah, check me out. Okay. Uh, All right, you ready? Or, you no, ready to perform for the? Yeah. Okay. And once again, like this video, share this video, like the Pretty Girl Chronicles page, fuck with Cole's Event Center every fucking Saturday, sold out Saturdays. You don't gotta question it, you just gotta come. So you know how they do it. And I'm Cody Rodriguez, and I'm here doing PGC for you guys every single Thursday night. Yep, that mic for you, Philly. Yo. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 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 Yeah,
slander. We picking off suspects and bystanders. Plan of action and confetti, that's who the commander. Cause nowadays I hit the booth and smoke cold the Jolly Ranchers on the pineapple. On the expressway, no self broken. I'm with the game missing, dropping shoes, I'm really hoping. Back to back in the road, like the chain smoking. Plans to rip the game like the shirt right off a whole open. Running every moment, that every second golden. That's why I'm clutched from the corner like I'm Kate Bogans. Amy Robson, when it comes to coaching, the religion for super perfection. Trying to live just like the next is slowing. Easy. Yeah. Team 563. I'm the only black boy. Yes. You already know what's going on. You're a DJ. There's only just me. Yes, Philly Blocks in the building. That's what's up. And that is his hit, Days of Our Lives. And you can look at that right now on YouTube. I was about to say stream that on YouTube. But you can watch that right now on YouTube. Right. Days of Our Lives, Philly Blocks. My bad, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm going to put it on streaming platform. She's going to put it on streaming platform? Okay. That's what it is. It's just got to be the right timing for it. Build a, a big fan base. Like I know where I'm at. I ain't gonna be too cocky about it. Uh, just my ass building, and you know what I'm saying. I know people here rock with me, but it's more than here. Like I want to make us look good too, and also I'm representing the West End. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out south is getting on. Everybody from up east got everybody supporting. Right now, you really know contender in the West, and I feel like I've been consistent for years to represent us and got the background, the resume to do it. And I'm here to do it for the whole city and the whole state, but I represent the West. That's what's up, representing the West, and that's where we're at right now at Cozy Event Center, 2928 West Kentucky Street. Fuck with them, nominate them, www.theallegiance.com, nominate Pretty Girl Chronicles. And you can find me, Coley Rodriguez, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Twitter. I keep it real simple. It's all the same. And you can catch me here every Thursday night doing Pretty Girl Chronicles. And I want to thank you guys so much for coming with through, fucking with us. You know, uh, you. it means a lot for us to be able to showcase up and coming talent, up and coming artists, artists that's been doing it for years, artists from out of town. It doesn't matter. At PGC, we give everybody the same light and the same shine. It doesn't matter. So for any artists who want to come on the show, reach out to me, Coley Rodriguez. You can reach out to Jamal Rich. You can follow Jamal Rich and his music. Um, and I think I think that's something that covered all my pieces right there. Sold out Saturdays. Nominate us. Okay, yeah, we're good. So make sure you fuck with us next week. Same time, same place.